If you're looking for the easiest way to integrate APIs into your Bubble app, then this is the tutorial for you. In this guide, you'll learn exactly how to use ChatGPT to help source and structure APIs from external tools. You'll see how ChatGPT can be used as a personal tutor to explain all of the steps and processes you need to follow. Now, if you're new to working with APIs in Bubble, I know firsthand how overwhelming the whole process can be. Well, in our example today, we're gonna to start from scratch by sourcing an API from MailChimp. We'll then use ChatGPT to help us format our API calls, so that way we can send and receive data between both MailChimp and our own Bubble app. Look, by this point, I've already said enough. I think this is gonna be a super useful tutorial that's gonna completely change the game for you. I'm gonna hand this one over to Luca, and he's going to explain everything you need to know in as much detail as possible. Hello everyone, today we're gonna to be going over how to use ChatGPT to create API calls that we can just import into our Bubble API connector. Now this will make doing APIs and creating APIs a lot more simple and it will kind of help decode some of the really, really confusing documentation that's out there. So as you can see here, I've actually used the MailChimp documentation, I've plugged it into ChatGPT I've got it to format it to CURL, which is the format that Bubble uses, and I've imported it in here. And if we initialize the call, you can see everything is chimpy, which is the success for us for this API call. So how do we actually get started with all of this? So first thing we want to do is download the bubble api connector if you haven't already and we're going to add a new api this api is mailchimp and we're actually going to do the authentication which is basically passing our api key which is essentially the password which will allow us to access our mailchimp account and we're actually going to pass that in the actual call itself so we're actually just going to leave this completely blank but what you're going to want to do is go to MailChimp and we're going to want to grab our API key and so this is the main dashboard that you'll come to once you've created an account on MailChimp and we're going to go over here and we're going to click profile and under profile we've got extras and then we can see API keys here and I've made a couple, but let's just create a new key. Tutorial, let's generate that key. We're gonna copy that to the clipboard. And now we're ready to go. And so what we wanna do now is head over and try and decode some of this documentation. And so where I'm at is MailChimp developer, which is just MailChimp slash developer on the URL. If we scroll down, we're gonna click the quick start guide. Now, as you can see, API documentation is often very, very confusing. And if you're not from a coding background, it can seem quite overwhelming sometimes. But what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna do this initial first call. And so as you can see here, it's telling us a bit about everything and it just looks very confusing. And so what we're actually gonna do to kind of demystify this is if we actually simply just grab all of this copy and then we'll do a new chat I use chat GPC 3.5 because you might not have a pay plan but let's just tell it to explain it to us like we're a five-year-old Perfect. Now, if we go through and read this, this will explain exactly what it's doing in a way that we can understand. But essentially, what this call does is it's just a simple test call and the positive response, this is the API call, sorry, and the positive response that we'll get back is everything is chimpy. And so in the Bubble API connector, it's actually C URL, that is the format as you can see here, that we want to import our API call in. So if we actually go 
and we see the list of options we can copy from, we actually do not have C URL. So what we need to do is just copy this Node.js and then let's get ChatGPT to format it for the Bubble API connector. Now, two things that you'll want to know is dynamic values in the Bubble API connector or values that we're gonna put in like our API key are actually formatted between the greater than and less than signs and then dynamic values in the actual URL of our API call are formatted like this in square brackets. And so let's tell Bubble that. I am uploading a node cool. Can you format this into a C URL? Cool for the bubble.io API connector. Dynamic values are for body, which is just body is just used to basically say the main bulk of the code, the thing that's basically not the URL. And I are this perfect. And so now what we're going to do is copy that code in and click go. And perfect. So what it's done is accidentally put it in our little greater than and less than brackets for the URL. So it didn't do that correctly, but it has done our authentication correctly. So what we're actually gonna do is now copy this code. We're gonna go to our API connector and we're gonna click import another call from curl. We're gonna paste that in. And now we can just edit our square brackets in here. And if we click import, you can see that is formatted everything perfectly. So we'll call this cool everything is chimpy. Just leave it at that. We're gonna not make this private. And then we've got our API key here. And so we're gonna to wanna to go back to our APIs. We're gonna copy it to our clipboard. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to paste it in. What we actually need to put in before this though is actually the bearer, bearer and then space and then our API beak because that's how we need to format it for our actual API to recognize it. And so the next thing we need to do is get our user prefix. And if we actually go back to the documentation here, you can see that is telling us that you'll see something like this in our URL for the dashboard of our MailChimp and our prefix is the US and then some numbers. So if we go onto our dashboards, you can see mine is US8. So if we go back to your bubble.io API connector, we can then just paste the US8 in here. And now we should be ready to initialize our call. So let's click that. And as you can see, everything gets chimpy. So as you can see, APIs can be super confusing, but ChatGPT is a really, really good tool that enables you to create API calls a lot more quickly and in the correct format for Bubble.io, as well as being able to ask it different questions about why certain things may be going wrong. And just like that, you now have a superpower in your back pocket when it comes to working with APIs. Of course, the steps that you learned today can be replicated across any API that you need to work with. So we truly only just scratched the surface of what's possible. If you wanted to stay up to date with any additional bubble tutorials I share, I'd always recommend hitting that subscribe button so that way you can be the first to know whenever I drop a new video. In the meantime though, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I wish you all of the best on your own no-code journey.